I remember stopping outside of a, a vegetarian restaurant and contemplating whether I would go in and then realizing I was looking through the windows, it was a Krishna restaurant because I could see all these Krishnas. And all of a sudden I heard behind me, these people sort of beckoning me saying hello. And I turned around, there was a van behind me and the doors were open. And there was a very old woman sitting in the van, but surrounded by all these Krishna children, kind of like a brood of puppies, all these kind of like <laughs> little Krishna fuck? children sitting in there. And she was waving me over. She was going, come in. And I started walking towards him. And all of a sudden I had two Krishna guys on either side of me. I'm oh, swear to God, dude. trying to force me into the van. What? And I thought to kidnapped myself, by Krishna. I thought, what? I thought Krishna's kidnap people. That's all I could think. I just thought this is absurd. Honestly. Yeah. And I started yelling and screaming and I fought away and I got away with it. But sometimes I think to myself, what would have happened? Maybe if I'd gotten kidnapped, I wonder if they could have broken me. Welcome to Chinwag, people. A new episode. Another episode. Thank you for joining us. We've been having a swell time here at the Chinwag. We have. And uh, like all good Chinwags, we have uh, sort of an ability to start with a topic, but then wander aimlessly through a variety of other <laughs> topics. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. But, but yeah. today we're going to have a wonderful international treasure, the great actress, Catherine Hahn. Yes, she is an award-winning actress you know from a wealth of TV and movies that you love. And uh, her latest series, Tiny Beautiful Things, is streaming now on Hulu. Now, today, we are going to be discussing the dark and mysterious world of cults. And I feel that it's important to offer this disclaimer before we begin our special journey and uh, tell you that <laughs> neither Steve nor I, nor Ms. Catherine Hahn, are experts on the subject of cults. And I hasten to add, I'm an expert on absolutely nothing. <laughs> Dave, so you're... today, today we're gonna, you're going to be hearing about cults from three people who don't know anything about <laughs> don't it. know anything about anything they're talking about. So just bear that in mind as you listen to this endless stream of blather. <laughs> so but stick you know, around. We stick are around. also going to have... Uh, uh, topics like uh, hypnotism, we get into brainwashing dogs, uh, mm -hmm. kidnapping, radical nuns. Uh, at some point, we end up talking about lice couches. Correct. We else? talk about we talk about His High Holiness the Pope, and we talk about the thrilling story of Travis the chimpanzee. So buckle up, going to be a bumpy ride with the great Ms. Catherine Hahn. Guys, I'm losing my mind. What are you eating? Were you just like chowing? What are you having? No, I've got a, ba a bag of nuts. Is that really what that is? Or is that, I mean, okay. You know, what if it's a bag of goldfish? <laughs> that would be that, like live goldfish? Just, yeah, I just went to the... Sure, just chowing, just handfuls of goldfish. Hi, Catherine. My friend. Oh, my friend. How are you? I don't know. I'm good. Everything's well, great. Excellent. Good. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. This is my friend, Steve. Hi, Catherine. Okay. Nice to you're, meet you. I love that you were pointing the opposite way. Was Technolo I pointing the wrong way? Technology <laughs> is amazing. Technology <laughs> is amazing. That's because I'm in a different, right? I don't have the proper grip. But that's Steve, whichever. Hi, uh, if Steve. I go that way, Hi, so. Catherine. Thank you yes. for having me on and congratulations. Of course, on a, on your podcast. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Fantastic. You're down in Atlanta, huh? I am. Fantastic. <laughs> have you been enjoying? Have you gone to Fox Brothers, the barbecue? Look at, down there? I'm actually uh -oh. I'm actually in Fayetteville. So this I, this is my backyard. Look how beautiful. That's amazing. Oh, sweet. Well, so funny. Someone was saying there's 12 seasons in Georgia. And we just went through the third winter and we're about to go in really? the, the pollinator, the pollinator, the pollinator. Uh-huh, uh -huh, sure. Which like I was like, oh, like, great. So uh, everything is dripping. Yeah, I have one, one drippy <laughs> eye, that's one fantastic. weepy eye. <laughs> fantastic. That's Which useful, is, though. Yeah, you know, that's makeup, awesome. Makeup loves it. Uh, oh, really? Are you like, like constantly <laughs> weeping during the thing? They have to keep I'm coming like, in. I don't like, know why I'm crying. Yeah. 
all the time. And then <laughs> it feels compassion I mean, in the audience. I'm going to you know, ask you empathy. something. Can you? Are you like? Can you? This is just. This is. I'm. Um, we'll we'll Sorry, get to. I'm whatever. having a hot flash. Wow, you're, okay, good. Here we go. <laughs> Spicy after hours. Now, wait a minute. I was just going to ask you something totally not irrelevant, but I'm just curious to know this about you. Can you, because we did a motion picture together, but I don't remember a thing because I was actually, I was, I, drunk, I was drunk the entire time. I remember what? something I so particular about it that, oh, oh. the last, one of the last things you said to me. Oh, dear. Okay. Was, I'm sorry if I was a disappointment to you. <laughs> well, you're not the only person I've said that to. And you're not the only person that's heard that as I'm going out the door. Let me tell you. Okay. Now, but here's my question for you. Because like I say, I was I was inebriated the entire time we made that bullshit. film. bullshit. I know, it is bullshit. But I just thought I'd say because I don't. But I, you're I, a genius. Are you one of these people that can be like, which eye do you need me to cry at it? Do you need yeah. me to do the left no, eye or the right? Now eye? I now I can. Now, you can. now it's nonstop, <laughs> just weep old person weepy eye. <laughs> normally, are you one of these people that can cry out of one of the can you just turn it on like a faucet? Are you one of those crying faucet people? No. No. Are you? No. Do you no. remember in acting school, like I would be everyone would be around me sobbing and I would be like, I feel nothing. Exactly. <laughs> and I hate all you people. I don't understand anything. I want to get out of here. People would be like, what do you want? And I'd be like, I don't know. I want a career is what I, I want. I don't know what I want. <laughs> I want out of here. Speaking of drama school and speaking of cults. <gasps> oh, what a transition. Holy God. I got to say, though, first, I saw that movie you guys were in together. Oh, okay. I love that movie. Dynamite. That is a it's, fantastic movie. Thank you, Private Steve. Private Lives, right? Yeah, Private thank you, Steve. Or, Private Lives. Private Lives. Yes. Beautiful, Private beautiful life. film. Everybody it is dynamite. Film. Dynamite it's, is a good word for that. It's a great dynamite. word. I love that movie so much. I do, too. Tamara and Jenkins. <laughs> And calls. And calls. But anyway, calls. No, but, no, but hold on. But but Steve, I think you're one of about 17 people that saw the freaking thing. So thank you for that. Yeah, well, thank you. I, I mean, tell it's everybody like nobody I know. saw it. Good. Yeah. All right, because nobody yeah. saw the thing. It's um, such a beautiful is, movie. It's it a is. beautiful movie. Yeah, it's a really nice movie. And I think it's a same it's a year topic. as Roma. Oh, is that oh, right? Was, it? Oh. was that what happened? Roma to Roma. No, that's not what happened. But I remember it. Do you know what I was thinking lately? Recently, you know what I was thinking, Catherine? I was thinking of changing my name to Oscar Buzz. <laughs> I'm Mr. Buzz. Mr. There Buzz is going, who's Mr. Buzz? Oh, no, that's Oscar, Oscar Buzz. Buzz. Yeah, there was I an myself. actor in L.A. that had his license plate literally said, I am DB me. Oh, nice. Oh, that's God. good. I like that. Not great, but it was oh. cute. Yeah, that is cute. Oh, Catherine Hahn. Oh, my God. I miss we you were, so much. Steve and I were Steve and I were just sitting and talking. Oh, what are we having there? A little electrolyte? Oh, right. uh, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we ingesting? We're just tracking everything <laughs> you're putting into yourself. This here. is what I have. Iced tea. Okay. Is this this the... is a LaCroix with, you know, I'm going to be very honest with you. A little teeny 2.4 mm -hmm. packet of THC in it. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Fair enough. And I was going to say it looks. I was going to say tripping. unfortunately. I was going to say yeah, we're tripping. And I was going to say unfortunately, it looked like a urine sample. I did a little bit, a little bit. It looked like I was going to say that's water. Okay. okay. Wow. Is this Very the Catherine Hahn diet? Uh, of, yeah. And nuts. Is this the whole thing? Yeah. This is after. Catherine, did you this have, is after a junket. I thought I would just slow it down. Oh. I was going to just. Cur I'm going to just like. You Junketing. know. I, this is post post junket with my friend Paul. That's nice. Oh, so we're post junket. That's good. So this will be like a nice palate cleanser. Won't I can't it? tell you how much I was looking forward to this. <laughs> really? Well, when we, we Paul told me that you're, uh, you're an expert in cults, and uh, yeah, we wanted I to said, pick your brain on your expertise. Yep. And actually, I was thinking, but we were obsessed with the Turpin family, right? Yeah. Wasn't oh, that the what Turpin they were called? Family. The Turpin. Well, Do you know we were who they obsessed were, Steve? with his haircut in court. That's true. Well, wait, is that the guy? Is that the Sarah Lawrence sex cult thing that just oh. happened? Is that the Sarah Lawrence case? No, but that's no. fascinating. One? That's super oh fascinating. God, that's you know, the Turpins. Yeah. Well, that's both of them are interesting because they weren't quite. Well, the Turpins aren't a cult. They were a family. But the same, the effect is the same, Catherine. It's the same shit. I mean, it's the same shit going on. And the guy at Sarah Lawrence, what was his name? I can't remember that guy's name. The weird. I don't the, know that story, but I want to like, know it. He the, was like I, a, he's. 
Go ahead. He was Steve. a former FBI guy or he had connections to the government. He comes out of jail and crashes on his daughter's couch at Sarah Lawrence. And then he slowly, systematically, like brainwashes all of her roommates to become yeah. like sex slaves. Sex workers. And, yeah, all sex kinds slave. of sex, sex workers, slave. sex slave, both. And it was like, but it's weird because it was not really, it was just these like four or five kids. It wasn't like a big extensive cult or something like, yeah, it was Awful, a micro though. cult. Yeah, I Awful. say sex worker, but it sounds like a slave. Yeah, they, no, the I, kids I, were smart. So the question is like, it was some, some of them were very smart. And how do you get sucked in that's when you're that intelligent? Care. By some well, guy just that's why you. I was obsessed with the Nexium situation. Oh, oh Nexium, yeah. yeah. What's very that good? One? Tell what describe Nexium, Catherine. Okay, Hunt. Keith Raniere. Have you mm -hmm. seen all of that? I have not seen the whole, I've not seen the documentaries. No, I know I read about, about it. it. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I know about it. But go, what was the deal with it? Do you know the sort of vague background? What was the deal? He started. I think something that was vaguely first, I mean, he was just a con artist. Like, you know, he started, it was kind of like he had, it was like a Dale Carnegie S kind of like, <laughs> you know, how to, yeah. how to, yeah. it was like kind of very, yeah. and then he kind of hooked up with this woman who was a hypnotist. Ah. And they started this, this, I, this, um, this, this, kind of, you know, how to realize your dreams and potential. Mm -hmm. And she, she, Nancy is her name. Mm -hmm. She <laughs> really was obsessed with him. Right. And sexually attracted, but he uh -huh. never kind of gave it to her. Uh-huh. And had daughters. And she they, had course, daughters. Yes. And he and, preyed on the daughters. Oh, yes. God. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it became bigger and bigger and like, a lot of the Bronfman, Bronfman family, mm -hmm. who was That's like right. uh, Seagram's and like money, oh, money, right. money, gave a right. ton of money. It became like this huge thing. And within this uh, group, a group of women separately, including this actress, Alison Mack, formed this kind of separate group called. Yeah, uh, it Doss? was it was. Something like that. And they became this kind of this. Uh, it was like a woman's empowerment group, but it really was a. His his elite his, like harem kind of. His elite harem wow. yeah. in which there was <clears throat> literal branding yeah. on their bodies. Oh, oh that's I right. heard that. I heard that's about right. branding. That's right. So, and some of them are still. He's in jail. Okay. Yeah. Some of them are still following him. Right. We were just talking about this. The fact that even afterwards, people will still continue to believe. I think there are still people who follow the Heaven's Gate thing. Yeah, I there think are. there are still people. There are. Branch there Davidians, are still people. Yeah. To, the Branch Davidians. I Jim think Jones. I, yeah. Like People's Temple. I think there's still people fucking doing that stuff. Dude, we which went is incredible. To, we, when we went to Texas, we immediately, when my husband was doing a play in uh, at Dallas, we, of course, drove to Waco. Yeah. Went immediately to the town center. We were like, where's a good place to eat? And also the site of the former branch. Yeah. Divided sure. Trump. And they yeah, were like, wow. uh, here's the direction. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want, you're not from around here, so are you? you? <laughs> and what's there? Is there like a- They have not... planted trees for everyone that had died. It's very profound. But there's also a lot of people watching. And there were cars, like there- there is seriously still Branch Davidians. Like it's yeah, still there must yeah. be. I often wonder that too about like the People's Temple down in Guyana. But here's yeah. here's the thing. But here's you, you raised some really interesting points, Catherine Han. This is incredible so far. <laughs> but I nice. no, but it's interesting that part of the thing is like, do they start out? Are they is he is he just a con man to begin with, or is yeah, he guy who actually thinks he's doing something good for people, and then he fucking just loses I think his mind? A, my theory Small is a food. con man. The, the power starts to happen, never had it as a kid, never really got it going on for himself, never got the girls, never had the thing. All of a sudden there's power. And then all of a sudden he knows he is, he is, he is, there's something that he can like harness and, and yield to entrap and entice and use women against women 
And all of a sudden there is this like there, it gets in too deep. Yeah. You, you have yeah. to watch these documentaries. I do. It, I do. Th- th- this kind of person has a very keen sense of human psychology so they can manipulate it. But I think you're well, right. He's got they, this woman who's a hypnotist. But oh, that's the other that thing. work that works on everybody. Well, or that, just that's some another of the question I was. Gonna, but hold on. But that's the other thing is that I think actually what's really key with people like this is that they get um, somebody to facilitate them well. That is, is that and what she's you really also need? a great front a handler. because she's, she's older. She looks oh. respectable. She looks like you're going to, oh, she's like, you're like, oh, of course. Well, if, if she is his right hand, then it all looks fine. Like, of course I'm signing up for this. Like, that's a mother of two. She's like, uh, she's so kind. Like, why would she get involved? Like, there's clearly nothing going on between them. Like, she looks solid. Like, why would, and how could yeah. anything go wrong? No, that helps. And that's a huge help is to get people like that aiding you to do it. We'll be right back. (laughs) I've always wanted to say that. Well, talking about cult shit, though, have you guys heard of Teal Swan? No. No. (laughs) She is an expert. (laughs) What is Teal Swan? T.L. Swan? Oh, T.L. Swan is the... Is the imposter, right? No, it's T E A T E A L Swan. Let's hear it. Oh, I don't know who that is. Do- there's a documentary about her. She has an see, this is a whole world of the internet that I know nothing about. But she had if she's very again, very hypnotic, beautiful woman, long dark hair. She has had a series of videos for a long time about self-help she herself experienced a lot of trauma Uh uh-huh she has this very intense back very calming background and she stares directly at you and she will just just like non-stop words into the camera yes over and over again i've seen this woman and she's sort of QAnon-ish, isn't she uh, oh, I don't okay. know. All right. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> I, she, she just, it's just, she does, there's millions and millions of followers and subscribers. Yeah. And then she does these workshops that there's a lot of like, is that water? Boarding? Oh wow. oh wow. It's on the verge really? of waterboarding. It's like a little intense like therapy. Wow. To like get people to snap out of stuff. To break uh, them down. But and then she ran away to Costa Rica and now she's in Costa Rica still working. Is she and, uh, after her or something? And she's now like trying to defend herself still through these videos. You have to look her up. She's well, okay. One of the things they do is like they they have these events like a waterboarding or some traumatic event that the whole group has to go through. And then you actually bond together because you shared this trauma or some mm. kind of like dramatic you can't experience. Leave. No one can marry. If you leave, if you leave her, you have to sign a contract saying that no one else, you can't have a partner while you're in, while you're in the group, you can't do anything, but you can't describe it as a cult. It's not a cult, but you, but it's all of a sudden you're in a cult living in Costa Rica. You can't leave. Yeah. One of the things you said though, that I, cause I, I watched, because here's the other thing. I watched that Keith Ranieri guy. Is that his name? Right. The Nexium guy. Yeah. Who's so like, what? Right. That's the not thing. I'm like, you watch him and you're like, not charismatic, not compelling. Like no. this weird dweeby guy who's dweeby. really, really <laughs> dweeby. But I say to myself, he ne- he just speaks in a steady stream. He never searches for a thought. He's trained him so much true. And I think that's part of it is that you just keep bombarding the people with words and he kind of keeps turning everything around on the other person. And stuff like that, so that you get this steady stream of talk. But then I figured maybe there must be some animal magnetism in the room, a charisma or something that we don't get because we're not in the room with the guy. But he must be in some way charismatic, right? I mean, uh, have you seen those videos of his late night volleyball sessions he made everybody do? (laughs) 
<laughs> Whatever that is, it sounds great. He won't no. like when they all finally when he finally like had everybody like move to New. I, I think it was like upstate New York or somewhere. Like they all took over this area, so they all lived in a certain small. I th- I'm not sure. It might have been New York, but then all of a sudden he'd be like, "Let's go," and really? it was like. It was like brainwashing. Like he would have everybody in his inner circle have to meet at like 11. Cause that's when he like got his ideas. Yeah. Well, that's the like, and so sleep, he put his yeah sleep head, deprivation. Sleep, yeah. He, he would put his like literally like a, you know, one of those elastic, you know, headbands on bad eighties the, headbands. And, yeah, the, like, these, the wrist these things, and then he'd be like, let's go. <laughs> Jesus not, Christ. not great, but like not even great volleyball <laughs> player, but just like, and it was like he would just play volleyball. Everyone would have to do it. Well, yeah, that's but that's like, when he got inspired. Yeah, but it's also oh, sleep deprivation. You keep people I, sleep awake. Deprivation. But there's, you make there's it, definitely yeah. a there, the, volleyball must be a cult technique because I knew a guy who was going to these dinners at the you know to get the Hare Krishna dinners in college, and they invite him for a weekend. And at the end of the weekend, they play volleyball. And there's, they're playing volleyball. He's like, why is that? Wait a minute. The Krishnas are playing volleyball? Yeah. Yes, uh-huh. seriously. Okay. And it's with getting those more robes? and more intense. With the, no, the, the, the ponytails and the robes? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, with the robes <laughs> flipping up. Yeah. And, like, and they're getting more and more intense. And then finally, as it's at like, fever of pitch, they yep. start singing the song. like and the Hari, And then... The game falls away, and then they're all embracing in a washing sweep of Hare Krishna, and Amazing. then that's how, that's how they get you. It's through that. It's I mean, volleyball. Like, so then you're crying, many. and yeah, because then all of a sudden, like between between like things, he'd be just drinking water, sitting on a bench, and shit would just come out of his mouth, and everyone's sitting around like, and he would just be talking. Not compelling. It's not- no, yeah, and kind not of compelling. disgusting. <laughs> but like people would just be like sitting around it and like everyone's just like leaning in, like all these like everyone's like, mm. Yeah, you're a genius. But well, that, that makes, makes me, yeah. that's the whole thing of how do you how do you uh, really smart people? So I don't fault these people in any mm-hmm. way at all. But no, but there's videos but, of like of him meeting like that this young actress. There's a scene in which he's meeting this young actress at the volleyball court for the first time, that woman, Allison Mack, mm. who is like pouring her heart out to him. And he is listening so intensely with his thing on. <laughs> and and their connection is like so deep. Yeah. And you're like, this is, she's giving the performance of her, the audition of her life. Wow. Yeah. And he is... He is like, and you're like, oh my God, she's going to get the part. Well, that's right. Because he's, he's, he's grooming her to be his second in command kind of too. It's like, she's always wanted to, it's like, I kept thinking like, she's always wanted to be number one on a call sheet. And now mm-hmm. she's number one uh-huh. on the cult call sheet. Wow. On the cult call sheet. But, and he, he's like, okay. But it's, it's so but, crazy. It is crazy. But, it, but, but it I get makes, it. But I get it too, because I go... I think I'm like, I think I would never be susceptible to that kind of thing. I think I'm so skeptical it would never happen to me, but I suppose it easily could. I don't think it could happen to you. No, I mean. Yeah, but, you're too, you're too dark minded. You too, are. You're really, too cynical. I'm too, nihilistic. I'm too paranoid. Is that what it you're is? You're too I'm probably paranoid too par- and you're too here's cynical. My, but here's my thing is that I actually think like cults are a kind of handy metaphor for a lot of life. I actually think like in general, like a lot of human behavior, a lot of social situations mimic cults. I mean, I think like a lot of workplaces, it gets culty, yeah. you know, it's we like- We talk all about of that cults shit. of one all the time. Right. Relationships. Families. Yeah. Oh, cult Families are culty. <laughs> yeah. Cult Love of, bombing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all of that yeah. stuff gets very, well, very. I think culty. it does. It hijacks what cults do is they hijack natural human social tendencies. We're suckers. Somebody tells you something you want to hear. They say you're beautiful, you're smart, and then you're like projecting and bonding. And then the cult uses all that to its advantage. Yeah. I mean, everybody wants to be somebody special, and then the cult right. comes along and says you are somebody special. Right. And There's that's a happened- woman. Oh, sorry. No, no. Go ahead. Please. There was a. <laughs> no, 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 please. <laughs> there was a woman in this Nexium in this Nexium doc- documentary that was, I guess, you know, oh my God, it's, it's a horrible, hor- there's just so many, there's horror story on horror story, but she, a, a, 
illegal, uh, you know, an, an immigrant who didn't have her, pa- he kept her papers. So there was, and her mother's papers, nowhere, no way to even go home. Um, and uh, she was like so in it that she allowed herself to be kept in an unlocked fucking room for two years. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Amazing. Yeah. Her family, they, they would open the door, put food in and close the door with what you could, there was no, you, the windows were closed. She was in a dark room unlocked for two years. That's the power that this mechanism yeah. allowed. Well, would that That's work on you? Facet. Like, would that would that work on anybody? You think, or it's a specific kind of victim that it works on? You think, so, or not victim, but a mindset? You know, I don't know. She it's had no to... way out, though. She couldn't go anywhere. Well, she then no, once you're locked had... in a room, what the hell? I mean, that's but gonna she, start. It to, was unlocked. It wasn't locked, right? Oh, true. She's submitting Amazing. herself to this kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But then no one, no one had her papers. No one had her. Her mother was in it. Her mm. sister was in it. Oh, they were compelled into it. Uh, like it was, I mean, the, but it's, this is it's what, but that's what I mean. But that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, you know, you put yourself in these situations. Like I was saying to Steve, it's like, you know, uh, certainly you've been on movies that are just like, this is going terribly. It's awful. People are being tortured. Everything's horrible, but everybody's walking around going, it looks great. It's going really great. Isn't it terrific? It's really great. And I sometimes think it's culty. Like it, it, it can get very culty. It, you have it some, is. You know it, can I mean? get, it can get very culty. I mean, yeah. I guess in those situations, because there's a finish line and because there's there's money involved, right. people just go like, la, 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 la. But like <laughs> That's a good point. But you're right. But, but, but you're but you're but That's you're a very ab- good point. But, but you're you, absolutely right. Why aren't you essentially doing it in your family? You're brainwashing your kids. I mean, aren't you aren't you basically like breaking your kids' will and like brain? Which is the Turpins, yes. basically. Yeah. Isn't everybody oh essentially God. the Turpins at heart? I mean, everybody with kids. Boy, yes, look, look I mean, I hope it's not that bad. Jesus no. Christ. I looked at that family again and I was like, holy fuck. That yeah, is that's a- abuse. That's not every family. No, I know. No, I know. <laughs> but I mean, but essentially you are sort of like, I mean, there's brainwashing going on all the time. I mean, you're essentially kind of like brainwashing your kids. I think you are. I mean, well, this whole, this, well, <laughs> Brainwashing yeah. animals. We brainwash dogs. I mean, we do it. It's just terrible. You we can't, do it to you everybody. Can, but we can't help brainwash dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. You can't help it. Like once a no, child is born- can't. That's just what's happening. Like, unless you literally are so hands off that they're just wild, they're just wild animals. Yeah. yeah. There's a, the, the hippie so you, style you of parenting. You can't help your point just of view. Your kid go. Yeah. I guess just but, letting your kid run and wild. And the older I get, the more I'm like, oh, I guess I'm like shrugging off the coat of my mom and my dad. Like, the more I'm like, oh, right. This is, I'm not, I'm, you know, you start to realize like what you're carrying that's not totally. yours. Totally. Like, totally. oh, this, my idea of money is not my idea of money. Like, so oh, much of it's not yours. Yeah. I mean, like, a ton of it's not yours. And then you just get down to who the hell am I? I'm just, yeah, yeah there's no I'm, one here. There's nobody home. <laughs> <laughs> have you, has anybody ever tried to hypnotize you? Has you ever done any of that kind yes, of like? I have. Really? Well, who? I did it. I, well, I did it. <laughs> what if, what if I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> no, but I mean, did you ever? Because I assume every like, director hypnot- I've yeah, ever exactly. worked with. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what yeah. I'm saying. No, but I mean, the like hypnotism when they bring up and they like act like a chicken kind of thing. I don't buy that stuff. Well, I don't think you that know. That's I definitely real. have. I had definitely <laughs> one. I did it to quit smoking, and that and that did worked. Not, did not. Well, it, it uh. worked for a, a a little bit, and then I went back on it. But then I quit by myself. But the guy was very interesting. Um, because he kept going like this in his chair. And then every couple of seconds, he would take a sip of water and he had the creepiest, weird old movie posters on the wall. And I was like, <laughs> and it was in his garage and what? everything about it that was doesn't so sound safe. <laughs> weird. No, no everything yeah. about it was so weird that I was like, I don't know. It was kind of, the vibe was like, Smoking really does sound disgusting. So right. maybe that was like why I was hypnotized. Well, that is, that is what it sounds like. Yeah, I don't I don't think I buy the whole hypnotism thing. I, I did mean, it I, once for something else. And I remember her being like, I was just like kind of, I had to like, I kind of did it for something else. And I was sitting there and it was very relaxing. And I, 
definitely remember her being like, you're walking down the stairs. And I was like, deeper and deeper, walking down the stairs, you're deeper and deeper. And I was like, I remember just my mind just went so far away. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I was just like, to do list. Like, I was just yes. off the stairs. Like, yeah. I was just, yeah. no, I was just. And then totally. I was like, get back on the stairs. <laughs> yeah, totally. And no, there's then no way, yeah. an audible snore came out that just woke me up from it. And she was just, <laughs> she was just sitting there. And I was like, I was like, I remember being like, oh, I'm sorry. No. And then I that, gave her $250. <laughs> right. See, that's the thing with back. me. I don't think it's that I'm so dark and so paranoid. It's that I have the fucking like, you know, I have ADD out the, up the fucking ass. Like I can't concentrate can't on anything. Attention. No, that's can't pay attention for long enough. I'm just going to be like, there's no way you could fucking get me. Now I'm going to, I, 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 I'm just remembering this because I thought, well, I was thinking like, I was going to ask if you'd ever done like the Scientology tests or anything like that. But I was remembering that mm -hmm. um, I, 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 uh, I was nearly kidnapped by the Krishnas in Northern oh, Ireland. I was in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Whoa. Not kidnapped. It's the only, but it's what always makes me think about what if, what if I'd actually gone off with the Krishnas? I was in Northern Ireland. I was Whoa, in Belfast. Ireland. Belfast, Northern Ireland, which was weird. And the Krishnas were huge. They were all over Ireland, which was really peculiar. They, they know that. <laughs> Listen, it was the 80s. So who knows? Okay. I mean, it was like, it was, it was, it was the mid 80s and they had some sort of island off the coast where they had established a big commune. And I was walking around Belfast, which was a really harrowing place to begin with. And I'd love to go. And I, oh, now it's fantastic. Now it's not at all what it used to be like. But I was, I remember stopping outside of a, a vegetarian restaurant and contemplating whether I would go in and then realizing I was looking through the windows, it was a Krishna restaurant because I could see all these Krishnas. And all of a sudden I heard behind me, these people sort of beckoning me saying hello. And I turned around, there was a van behind me and the doors were open. And there was a very old woman sitting in the van, but surrounded by all these Krishna children, kind of like a brood of puppies, all these kind of like <laughs> little Krishna fuck? children sitting in there. And she was waving me over. She was going, come here. And I started walking towards him. And all of a sudden, I had two Krishna guys on either side of me. I'm oh, swear to God, dude. trying to force me into the van. What? And I thought to Kidnapped myself, by Krishna. I thought, what? I thought the Krishnas kidnap people? That's all I could think. I just thought, this is absurd. Honestly. Yeah, and I started yelling and screaming, and I fought away, and I got away with it. But sometimes I think to myself, what would have happened? Maybe if I'd gotten kidnapped, I wonder if they could have broken me. I wonder yeah. if I would have actually. That, was that I don't a tactic know. by the Krishnas? I don't know. I was really shocked that the Krishnas were Me there. too. I, that feels very shocking. Friends, now a message from our sponsor. I was raised Catholic and uh -huh. I was like, so always, was I. oh, hey, okay. Yeah. And I, you know, was, it was more of a social thing in my family, you know, it was more, I mean, it had been Catholic all the way back, but I, it was more, by the time it got to us, it was definitely, my family is more like a, uh, the cheapest private education uh -huh. in Cleveland, you know, and uh -huh. I grew up in Ohio. But I was raised by some pretty radical nuns. Um, I loved really? them. I, yeah, I love radical. The nuns. How they were like they were cool. They were radical because like political. I could you could tell that they had two options. They could fucking get married or become a nun. Uh -huh. You know, but when they became nuns, uh -huh. and so I had a mad respect. Yeah, you know, they at that age, you know that that those were their fucking options, and yeah. they were slim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they found, and you know, they lived to, I could just tell that they, they lived to get, they just made, they just were educators. They lived in this awesome house. They like made food together and they were like, oh, fuck it. I'm, we're just going to, we're going to just get gr long gray hair, make food together, <laughs> you know, make stone, you know, make carvings out of wood. Make jam and stuff <laughs> and like jam that. Jam and shit like that. Preserves. Yeah. Uh, stuff, yeah. It was, uh, to me, they were the <laughs> coolest. Because I was like, awesome. I get, I get it. Yeah. Do you if I were, you know, I, and they're I, intellectuals too. They're readers, probably like completely. Into, yeah. And they were like, they were really like pushed a lot of interesting books on us. Like, yeah, I was into my into those nuns. Yeah. Um, that's but, good. That's nice to hear. I'm actually glad to hear you had a positive experience with. Yeah, nuns. a lot of people had bad nun experiences. Yeah. In my yeah. elementary school, it was different. Elementary was a different order, but in high oh, school, really? uh huh. Well, elementary school, they were just like. You know, you have one tissue. 
one tissue and you know, yeah, you, know so you only tyrannical. saw this yeah. part of their face and everything else was the habit. But what do you um, mean one tissue? What does that mean? You could only have one Kleenex for yeah, it was yes, almost a year. Like, yeah. You use it all day. And I was like, that is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> really? Yeah, they would hit people with rulers sister and shit. Aloysius. It was like abuse. Yes, sister did, did, was there corporal punishment when you guys were there? I it- never had corporal punishment, but I will say that there was a green couch outside of the principal's office and you sat on it if you had lice or if you got in trouble. <laughs> and so they, so they I sent you to the principal's like, I got office. Busted, I got busted. I, I got busted. <laughs> Do you have a lot of lice? Do you have yeah. a lot of lice, Catherine? Were you crawling so, with lice? You know what? <laughs> I was crawling with shit. <laughs> I Wait was a minute. Just, I was they send you, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you to the principal's yeah, office. They send you to the principal's office if you had lice. Yeah, and they wouldn't just well, you got to contain hump? it. You got to contain it, man. You, okay, you know. I guess so. They wouldn't but I was just like, send can't you. you have a separate fucking couch? <laughs> yeah. Now the couch is just going to be fucking crawling with lice. No, I, they, just, they couldn't get their shit together. But I did love the nuns there. That's amazing. Well, anyway, but. Anyway, no, but, no, no. I'm fact, but in I'm terms fast. of like a in terms of like a cult situation, I mm. always felt like that was a an interesting pull because I felt them their tug with the priests. Mm-hmm. I could always feel it in high school that they that they were like there was a tug between them and the and the how and, so and the church. How, I don't do you know. Mean? I just, I just had this, like, there was this undercurrent of like them doing their thing in the convent and the, pr- the freaking oh. moist shit faced priests, <laughs> the, the pedophiles and the drinkers. Just, they were just way, just shit faced pr- priests inviting everybody over to the rectory to get wasted on every holiday. <laughs> okay, sure. And yeah, do you, but- do you th- and do you think, do you mean that when the nuns were kind of kicking back against them? Cause they felt a little bit sat upon by these. Like, yeah. 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 We got our just, own shit going on here. They were never invited to those parties. They were just kind of like, we got our own thing going on. Like, we're not going to. I, well, I, I, felt, I felt that vibe. That's when I cool. was, uh, I was raised Catholic too. And there's a kind of, um, they're sort of the opposite of a cult because they, they, they don't even read the Bible. You know, they ask the priest or the nun what to think, but Protestants, like, uh, I noticed my son is sort of like the perfect demographic age. He's in college. He's 19. He tells me about his social world. And every once in a while, it'll be like, yeah, these Christians invited me over for dinner. And I'm like picturing <laughs> like birds of prey, like circling around him. And I'm like, well, watch out, man. Just be careful. <laughs> but Catholics Christians. never do that. They're just like, yeah, you know, we we just get the holy water. That's the end of it. I guess they don't, do they? They don't like proselytize and try not, to force you to really. come into it. No. It's like it's like Judaism. The Jews don't do that either. It's like eh, you're in, you're yeah, out. Yeah, there's no cross line. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's interesting. Yeah. That's not that I didn't. I've never really thought of that being the case. Interesting. Yeah, they don't need to because they they stole it all anyway. It's all at the Vatican. What is the what is <laughs> it the was. yeah? What is it? Yeah, it's true. What does the Pope do all day? I often wonder, like, what the fuck is he doing a lot of the day? Does he sit and watch like TV and stuff like that? Does the Pope like? Does he get downtime and stuff like that? I'm serious. I always wonder this about the fucking Pope. In or is he mind, just playing all day, or is he like, what is he doing? This is the image that came to mind. Mm-hmm. He's standing in one of his windows, just like a beautiful window. Okay. He's got one of his beautiful coats on and uh-huh. there's someone behind him with a steamer <laughs> making sure that there's no wrinkles on it. <laughs> and he just has to stand there looking at birds. <laughs> That's basically what drinking. he does. <laughs> yeah. Is he drinking? drinking. Yeah, but honest to God. No, he, like, he can't get anything on that white robe. So maybe yeah. someone comes <laughs> over with so. Somebody's a got a... Somebody's got a fucking handy wipe around a him. Teacup and, a, and a little a straw. Cloth. And a big long straw. And he's like, I just can't. I but does he watch TV? I'm serious. Does he watch TV and shit? There's that there's that uh, there's that show with the two popes and they they if it well, can be believed. Be good. Yeah, it was very good. And they show them like watching shows on VHS tape and shit like this. Amazing. So it does it does make it seem like they're just regular Joes or whatever. I guess so. I don't know. Joe I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated by the whole Pope thing. It just seems Me too. This Pope was supposed to, to be cool, but then I guess not as nobody cool as likes him now. I guess yeah. not. Cooler than the, some of the past ones, I think. I guess so. I guess so. I, guess I, so. I haven't followed any any of that. I mean, no. I haven't been like clicked into it. But that stuff's not. I, I think I, I'm interested. Why is that not a cult? 
I mean, I like religion. I'm not an enemy of religion, but there's something about mainstream religion that's like it's compatible with your everyday life. You can still go to the store. Yeah, why is yeah? What's what's so wrong with Scientology then? You know it's what not, I mean? I mean, well, because there's you, you they're using people for unpaid labor, and they have them sign billion year contracts. But isn't the Catholic Church kind of doing that to people? It's the tithing I mean, and you giving yeah, money yeah, every Sunday. Tithing people uh, and yeah. people who are, you know, people who are, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just, no, I, I mean, wonder. I don't know. I wonder too. But isn't the fact that they're like, I don't know, that they're like, that there's legal threat and that you can't no, leave. No, I know. I mean, it's like, yeah, I, I suppose know. so. I suppose it's different. I suppose it's different. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I'm just pro pro proposing that it, it, yeah. the evidence looks yeah, the evidence yeah. shows that something like yeah. what Steve was saying, you know, like the, the the test to sort of get in is you hold two toilet paper rolls with a piece of wire between it and they ask you questions about your childhood and shit like that. So it's like if that's if that's the criteria, it's probably <laughs> it's probably a cult. Suspicious. But, I suppose, but I suppose on the other hand, you got the Mormons. I mean, we're going to be uh, we're going to be getting letters from the Catholic Church, from Scientologists. <laughs> yeah, really now I'm going to start it on the Mormons because it's like you start in with the Mormons and it's like that whole thing thing is is kind of crazy sounding i mean but it's no less crazy sounding than any of this stuff is so well, I, mean, I mean if you it's so weird to go back to the beginning of the beginning of the beginning of the beginning and you're like who even wrote any of this down like what yeah did, well that's a who whole even, yeah exactly no and clearly people were just making this shit up because it's like hundreds you know, of I mean, years after the fact but i heard that uh, catherine has a thing for the amish and i think that oh, the amish, i really do i they're love a little bit the like amish. a cult it's a little culty, isn't it? I mean, it's somewhere in between, maybe. Why do you love the Amish? Because they <sighs> because they they hate technology. Or you like the beards? You love those silky the beards. beards. Are sexy. No zippers. <laughs> <laughs> Just buttons, baby. Just buttons. <laughs> Come on. Have you ever spent time with the Amish? No, but I really do think it's. I but I lived near it growing up, and I just think there's something like that's so romantic about, about not in any kind of. I just mean that there's something so. Yeah, no, it does not look easy, is, but there is something so pure about it that is so. Um, and that I, most I people deal. after that, I think it's called Rumpsprung, Rumpspringer, 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 Rumpspringer. That most people choose to come back. And, Do they? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and there, the idea of forgiveness, like, I don't know if you remember, there was like actually a horrible shooting. Yes. Of a lot of Amish yes. people. And that all, they all yes. wrote this letter of forgiveness. Oh, and, really? And there's something about about it that is... Um, no, that it's, just remar feels, it's pretty remarkable. And very that they're able to still maintain like a... Um, I don't know, like a sense of... Community? No, like, yeah, and just like a protective... I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I that No, that they can that they maintain anything at all in this world and are not crushed or, you know, that they still maintain anything going on in this world is kind of, me. what's the deal with shakers? Shakers don't exist anymore. Right. Because they didn't have sex. Right. Were they, were they, well, selling you know, it? you know, but. I, we found this out. My, if someone just told me about this, I don't know if this is true or not, or if you have fact checkers, but cause I, when I, I my uncle, no, no. my, okay. Fine. Yeah. Great, Believe great. Me. Believe me. That's really funny that you just okay, said that's that. Exciting. I okay, love that. I probably oh, have no, said no, no. nothing say, that's true. No, say what Whatever shit you want on this, <laughs> anything's so true. Yeah. So busted. But my <laughs> my um my my uncle lives in Shaker Heights, um in Ohio, and so we talked a lot about the Shakers, and he learned that a lot of uh, it kind of died out because I'm not sure exactly why it died out because there was a, something about sex, like something about like you could that they they literally and they basically killed themselves off because they stopped they wouldn't procreate with anybody yeah but the shaking was during the service yeah uh, anyway they and worked it out that way well, they, they, worked out they, their, they got their they got their gym jams out by doing the shaking the I holy think they, spirit I think, I think they gym jammed out during and that the was service. and that was that was when the spirit would hit what was the shaking yeah. all about Do that was it I, yeah that was I so, think it was was it, it was all the repressed fucking it was all uh, the repressed they worked uh, it out yeah horny dogness it was all just yeah boom, i think boom, they boom. shook it out with the spirit Amazing. Well, we didn't get to, we didn't, it was, we have five minutes. So we didn't get to talk. Speaking of like Ooh. captives, look at this. Are you look at this. Right <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at what's going on. Wait, look since the last happening. I saw you, you became a marionette. 
What's, what's <laughs> happening? Look at what's happening here. Oh, okay. This is working out. Isn't this incredible? Hey, can hey, I get that your, kind of service? What does your what shirt say? Person? It says the only good human is a dead human. Oh, God. Yeah, that's and why. And look, <laughs> and look at what it is, Catherine. It's, a, it's an ape, which brings to <laughs> mind hey! Travis, Travis the chimpanzee. Oh, my God. I think about that all the time. Do and you? I've gone back so and I. read it again. Have you, you've gone back and read uh, about that, him? That, no, that original amazing story that goes into such detail. What's that about story? The, about the cop, too. The, the cop. thing about the cop. The whole story is- It's the cop is, who gets the call. The cop is the story that fascinates me. That's, and that's, the, that's the story. That's the movie I want to make. And Wait, I what's the story? The you, I really the story think is, you have to. <laughs> the story is, the story is that there was a woman in beautiful Stamford, Connecticut- who had a maybe you've heard of it? It's on the it's it's metro it's, line. It's, it's absolutely, it's a tremendous, <laughs> tremendous place. She had a and it she raised, I guess, from its infancy, an adult chimpanzee, and she kept this this guy Travis in her house, and he was sitting around a diaper, like eating Fruit Loops and watching <laughs> he like lived fucking past her partner. <laughs> Yes, her life partner. He died yeah, and traveled. Yeah. yeah, they they slept in the same bed. Slept in the same bed. He was treated like a family member, like a husband, almost yeah. like a brother, son, and then kind son, of son, whole thing. And then one day he just snapped. He but just, it was you, this is a detail that you've that I'm going to okay, add because it's important. Please. Travis had to be. He was kind of off that day, and so she had to give him a mug with his with his. I think Xanax in it. I forgot about that. <laughs> because forgot. a mug of a mug of orange juice. Because that's, he that's had right. been acting out. It's terrible. Yes. So <laughs> yes. he had had his orange juice with. I think I'm not sure if it was well. It was a well butrin. Some antidepressant. I think it was well butrin. Yeah, it's not totally so brought, a, to you by Tra- brought to you by Travis the chimpanzee. <laughs> so anyway, there was a, there was a mug of some sort of yes. calming something. He had to be. Yes. A little, he was acting out. He was off. Something yes. was no, mad he was about Travis. Yeah. Yes, and, <laughs> okay. he, and, he, and, he, and he lost it, and he uh, he tore her face off, basically. Not her, her, her friend. Their neighbor's face. See, you, her, you've refreshed yourself about this more recently, uh, which I'm glad. Her friend came to visit, her dear yeah. friend, who also knew Travis since Travis was young. Yes. Her friend had a new haircut. Yep. This is and maybe why they it. think oh, Travis. Then, yeah, that's right. Travis that's why he snapped. snapped. Yes. Out yes. of oh, nowhere, that's Travis right. Basically, yeah, he went he went crazy and he went on a rampage around the house. One of the first face transplants, and actually that woman died not too long ago. And oh, her, yeah. the face transplant actually took, I think, for a while. It was she had a full face transplant. It was horrible. But that's the neighbor, horrible, not the horrible. mom of the chimp. That I was think the, the neighbor. Mom I don't remember. Was unscathed. Oh, is that right? I thought she. I, I think it was the friend that really got it. Okay. okay, there's some theory as to why I didn't know this story, but it fits with primate behavior, which is that primates like dogs see themselves as in your family and they see themselves as sort of low down. So that, that's why they never attack you. But if you show weakness, they will attack you. But then if the if the woman had a new haircut, <laughs> she could have been perceived as like an, <laughs> an outsider, a th- threat. No, oh, but it's like kill a mode. It's, oh, like right. it's like that. It's a different person. It's that like showed uh, up. the killer whale that lost it yeah. with the ponytail. Oh, is that, that what drove the killer whale crazy? That's a was theory the, is that she had a ponytail uh, and yeah. she went like this. Yeah, right. Well, anyway, so the cop. The cop. It's the guy who then gets the call that says you have to show up at this house because there's a, I mean, I don't even know if they told him exactly what was going oh on. God. But this poor cop who's, you know, Chim- he's sitting Chimpatap. there hanging out. He's sitting, hanging out in Stamford, you know, and he has to go and he had to track the chimp down. And he had to basically hunt the chimp down and ended up killing the chimp. I think the chimp got in his car, I think, eventually. And I think the chimp ended up in the car and he had to kill it. But he was completely traumatized by it. Can you imagine? Retired. And yeah. And I've always thought it would make a great movie. Yeah. (laughs) It is. It's like a dog day afternoon, but like a weird, like a one day. I always want, yeah, I wanted to start two storylines. The woman is with Travis at home and everything's fine. Travis is having, Travis is having his fucking fruity pebbles and he's watching (laughs) the view. He's he's watching the view. 
the beach is <laughs> hanging out. And then the cop has woken up and he's out. And he's having he's having donuts and he's a Dunkin' Donuts and shit. And then the whole thing. And for, just for like, a lot of the movie, I want a lot of the movie to just be banal. It's their lives yeah. until everything yeah. goes fucking haywire. And then the shit. last 20, 20 yeah. minutes of this movie is just insanity. That's awesome. Like there's one, I remember a detail is that he 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 saw first he saw the woman on the ground, she was still alive, and he didn't know what it was. Because oh, her yeah. face, you know, the woman God. whose face was like he didn't yeah. know what it was. Oh, and horrible. then he saw a chimp come he saw Travis come around the cor corner and he just went like this. And the side of the it, it literally the gesture was just like this, and the and the mirror just fell off. Yeah, like he was right. so strong. Yeah, they're really so strong. So strong. Yeah. They're like they're so fucking strong. Yeah, they're so strong. fucking strong. I've, I've worked with chimpanzees, and I've worked with, but and you cannot use them after a certain point. They're very young, even the little ones though. And everybody's like, "Oh, so cute!" And the thing climbs up on me, and I'm like, "It's not cute." It's, no. it's yeah. really when they get in adolescence, off. it's like it's, well, it's, you can't use them. No. You can't use them in adolescence. You shouldn't and you use know, them at whenever all. Whenever you anymore. see, a, whenever you see a gorilla in a movie. It's well, CGI. up until yeah. now, it's CGI. But before, it was always a guy in makeup. Oh, because, because you because they're so you dangerous. Use, yeah, you can't use a real. Camera. Well, in uh, this early space program, I knew this guy who was involved in the early space program, and around the lab, it, you know how you like have break this in case of fire. There were handguns because if a chimp got loose, because they were t sending chimps to space, you Jeez. were just supposed to shoot it, just shoot it because oh, it's, you know, yeah, it's too strong and too violent. Listen, I worked on a movie with a baboon where they trained it to load and fire a gun. In the movie, the and I was fuck? like, and I just, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? What I mean, I was just like, you know, and, and it was supposed to shoot at me too. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Anyway, that's a whole other I topic. The rubber gun. Uh, Wait, but lastly, have you ever been to the Museum of Jurassic Technology? Yes, yes. we love it. We're big oh, fans. The We're the big space fans. dog, the the Russian space dog uh, love it. exhibit. Yeah. Exhibit of so amazing, yeah. so, so amazing. Cool. Catherine okay. Hahn. I adore yeah. you. You're, you're a treasure. Thank you. I miss you so you're, much. I miss you so yeah. much. You're an international treasure, <laughs> Catherine Hahn. <laughs> I love you people. Thank right, you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. That was a real okay. pleasure. So bye. much fun. All right, bye, bye. guys. Bye. bye. Bye for real, though. Yes. Okay, I can't leave it. I'm never leaving it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Chinwag. And of course, if you like what we're doing, and even if you don't, especially if you don't, you know, I like a little lively debate. I'd like to get into it with you people. How about you write to us? Because <laughs> we'd love to hear from you. Post all your burning questions in the comments. If you have a topic you want us to cover and it's strange enough, then maybe we'll talk about it here on this very podcast. And please make sure you rate us and leave a review. And then share us with your friends. Why not? Ha 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 ha! Chinwag is a production of Treefort Media and Touchy Feely Films, hosted and executive produced by Paul Giamatti and Stephen Asma. Executive producers for Treefort are Kelly Garner and Lisa Ammerman. Dan Carey is executive producer for Touchy Feely. Our series producer is Rachel Whitley Bernstein. Our associate producer is Andrew Miller. Original theme music by Luke Topp, with additional music by Via Mardo. Oscar Guido is our executive in charge of production. Tom Monahan is head of audio for Treefort. Animation created by Alex Sokol. Audio production, supervision, and editing by Maxwell Carney. Additional audio assistance and mixing by Jeff Neal. Video editing by Brian Barcheski. With additional production management from Renee Levesque. Lastly, for more information, go to chinwagpod.fm. And find us on Instagram or TikTok at chinwagpod or on Twitter at chinwag underscore pod.